Hi guys, welcome to the Craft House by April. Today I'm going to be trying a brand new paint, a brand new painting um, for a mother-daughter event that I'm going to be um, hosting, and this could also be a good date night uh, paint party. So those are um, some great options for this painting. I've never painted this. I think I just said that. <laughs> um, I like I said, I'm testing this out, so you're going to just test it out with me. Um, I really wanted to use some coral on this, but I couldn't find it at the craft store. Um, so these colors may not be the colors I end up with uh, for the actual party, but I'm going to be using candy pink, tropic orange, maybe deep coral and a little bit of flamingo red. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, and then always have black and white on hand. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the uh, Tropic Orange. Ooh, my kids would have had a field day with that one. Um, I'm going to use this big brush that I got from the um, art studio. And sorry, it's morning. <laughs> the kids just went to school. I'm trying to get myself going. Uh, but this is me. This is the real me. This is how I am. And I fumble over my words all the time, and if I edited every single thing out that I did, I would never have a video. <laughs> but, um, we are going to go ahead, this is, I don't even want to show you what my goal is, in case I screw it up. <laughs> but I am looking at something, um, and let's just get started. Oh, this is what I was going to tell you. These are, I, I don't know. Um, I've never used this size before. We're doing two pieces that way. Um, mother, daughter, you know, two pieces that, that combine together like a puzzle. If you end up having like maybe two daughters and you want to do a three set, which I've done uh, before with the beach scene, you just add another canvas and then you could possibly, um, you would just, widen the picture uh, but there would be a way if you wanted to incorporate more than one daughter okay so we're going to start in the center and fade out and it's going to get darker as we go out okay and this color I'm kind of wanting around this area I really wanted a coral And I'm still new to canvas, so you're learning as I'm learning. I've done most of my paintings on wood. I think I started my circle too small. I don't know though. Okay, so I'm going to bring it all the way out. If I would have went to Michael's, I probably would have found the color I needed, but I don't always have time to go to Michael's, and I was at Walmart, and I was on the other side of town, so this is why it's going to go this way. Now, if this was a permanent piece I wanted that I knew I was going to keep in my home, and I would, I would want to make sure... But this honestly still may turn out the way I want it. I like to experiment. Here is the coral reef I would have used if I had some, but I only have like a drop left. Okay, I'm going to get into my pink and go on the other side here and incorporate the pink. My storage memory was full, so um, it's probably going to stop me again, and then I should be good after that. Mm -hmm. 
I've gotten used to how difficult my equipment is to work with. So if I keep checking, it's because I don't want my camera to turn off. I'm definitely a hot mess express today. <laughs> I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. It is way overdue. Um, so I don't want to put any product in my hair. Not that you guys really care about all of that. <laughs> but I care about all of that. Okay, so you see how it's kind of blending together. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's, it's blending pretty well. Coral is a very nice spring color. It's a favorite to a lot of women. I'm even gonna come in here and just color that in. While I have the color on my brush, It's not a huge deal if you don't. I honestly never do this on my wood pieces, but I feel like it looks worse on canvas to leave that open. Because on wood, you can at least say, it's rustic. You can blame a lot of things on wood. I meant to do that. Okay. All right, and somehow I'm gonna darken it out, but I don't want it to completely change the color. I think I'm gonna add black. This is, I'm a little more scared to do this part right here, but I won't know unless I do it. So here, I didn't put very much. I'm gonna go into my pink and black, darken it up a little bit. You don't need a lot of black <clears throat> to darken it up. It won't be this unstable there because each person will have their own on an eagle. me of sherbet in the middle. I 
Oh, it's pretty dark. Okay, I guess I'll make this side a little darker too. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go rinse this out um, because I don't want it to get too dark. Okay. I'm going to get back into my pink. Okay, it's looking nice. I don't always like um, the paintings that they do at these wine and paint places because a lot of it is colors I would never even use or like or it's a picture of something that I would never really want hung in my home. So when I started this, I really wanted to make sure that we, I did things that people actually hung in their home. Because I remember the very first paint party I went to, I mean, it's expensive. If you're going to spend something like that, you're going to want to hang it up. But none of us liked the painting that we actually did. Like, it didn't match any of our houses. And, um, and that was just disappointing. Like, you, you create this artwork, <clears throat> but what's the point if you're just going to throw it away? <clears throat> or put it in your basement, you know. Okay. So it's look it's starting to look really good. <clears throat> um I'll show you up close. Okay. And we're gonna work on the center now. Oh, I forgot to uh, tighten this down. That's one of the reasons it's moving all over. But uh, I'm actually going to, I need to get something. Anyway, you don't have to know all that. All right. <laughs> I can talk. I've been considering um, doing some live, I never thought I would consider that, but because I do like to talk, and, um, I think I'd feel comfortable at this point to, if, read comments even, I don't know, maybe I'll try it with a friend first to help me, um, I thought about that, 
but it's much easier to do it the way I'm doing it where I can just edit it out, especially if I <laughs> look a mess or say something stupid. But some people really like the interaction. Okay, so I just had a little bit of orange on my brush and then I put some white with it. If you have problems getting a straight circle, you may consider um, tracing a bowl. but we're gonna wing it. Okay, now let's put it back together and try to even the circle out. Oh, that was good. I can always go back over with the orange, which I'm probably going to need to do, I'm assuming. Let me look at my picture and let me step back and look at this. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, the color is not the same as theirs, but you don't know that because you can't see it. I'm gonna add a little more orange into the white here. It looks more like a peachy color than a white. And then I am going to um, try to blend, try to blend a little bit better. For me, I think this is going to be the most difficult of uh, what I show you. And you're just going to want to dip right into that orange and go on right in the middle of that line. And then um, blend it out. Okay. Get back into the orange again. Okay. So, it's starting to look nice. I'm going to rinse this off because I want some of that white off of my brush. And then I'm going to get back into the orange again. Okay, it's looking nice. 
if it looks too choppy, just keep fading it and blending, okay? Okay, now I want a little more pink right here, so I'm gonna get back into my pink. I need to be careful. I just got into the black by accident, <laughs> so I'm glad I caught that. But I'll move the pink over. Okay, back into my pink because I really love the coral color and I want to make sure that we're still incorporating the coral. Oh, I just hope I'm not ruining it. Blending pretty, and then um, I want a little more orange right here. A little more pink. I want the coral to go out a little more. A little less pink, a little more coral. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Here's a part of it. Okay, so we have that part done. Now, okay. doing make me stop guys look what I just did because I won't stop touching it oh and I got black seriously why did I do that it was fine oh. all right I fixed it I don't know why I do what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this, let it dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna add the branches in. So I'm using the smaller one now, and I'm going to drag it skinny ways, not fat, fat ways. 
that's how I, I explain that. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Actually, I'm going to move this one while I do this side so it's sturdy. Okay. So I'm going to start up in here and go down like that. I'm going to go back up and thicken it up at the base. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do another one going up this way. Get it at the base. So, um, you can't just go on field trips with your kids anymore. <laughs> you have to have background checks, which I think is great. Um, I actually have had one mine expired. Um, so, I get to go to the aquarium with a bunch of kindergartners, and I need to. Um, Go get my background check updated. Okay. So I started that. I'm going to have one come across here. And then I'm going to cross this one over and come all the way down. Okay. Now I'm going to add all the small branch. I might need to change out my, um, I'm afraid this will still be too big. So, I'm gonna see what this does first because it's easier to go thicker than it is to get it thinner. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Okay, so this one goes up. I'm just trying to mimic what I see here. I can make these decisions on my own. And if I need to, I will. But right now I don't need to. This is working out. Okay, and we're going to put little teeny tiny flowers on this too. All right, I think that's a pretty good start. 
You guys like that? Okay, so that's one half. And then I'm going to do this half. And get back into my big brush. I probably didn't have to rinse that one off. I just didn't know how long it was going to take. And I didn't want it to dry out. So, Okay, I'm going to go to the other half of my tree. And this one comes right out. Actually, I'm going to take it from here. that and this comes straight in and kind of meets up with it and then I'm going to thicken at the base I wasn't going to put that there, but um, I kind of went too far, and so sometimes you just have to go with it. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Okay. The trick is, um, as the branch is closer to the tree, it's going to get thicker. As it's farther away from the tree, like it's growing out to the ends, it's going to get smaller. So I'm going to wait to do all the other little ones because if you notice, I can't get real small with this brush. Um, I'm going to take this straight down like this. And then this one's going to go up and over. And then I'm going to pull one from down here. These are kind of thinner, so you don't want to get them too thick. Okay. All right, and I'm going to go back into my small, teeny, tiny one. And I just got these at Michael's. Okay. So I need this one to go off like this. Make sure there's enough paint, otherwise it'll be splotchy. Okay, there's that. And then over here there's a little Y, and then that's going down. I have another one. Is that up over oh, here? Okay. And on this side. And then from here, one goes that way, and then it veers off here, and it comes out over here. We doing good? <laughs> um, let's see. All right, and on this one, kind of goes up twice. So we have one that goes up right there, and another one right here. And this has another little limb or twig. Okay, there's a little birdie that's gonna sit right here. And then this is going to be there. We're going to have one coming out from down here and split this one off. Um, let's see. We're going to go on the bottom one. And this has, this one's a little more complicated. I'm just going to have to do what makes sense on mine. It may not make sense. For you and it may not make sense because obviously it's not matching at this point because mine are placed differently 
So you kind of got to go off of what you have done because they're not going to be perfect no matter how much you try. They're just not going to be able to be. I try my best to do it as matchy as I can. Um, this is about as best as I can do. Okay. I think that's great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I was a little worried like I did something <laughs> wrong for a minute. Okay. So we're going to put these together. And that is what it looks like so far. Isn't that pretty cool? So um, from here, all we're going to do is <clears throat> add a bird over here. And we're going to add a bird over here somehow. <laughs> and then we're going to add some flowers. So um, I'm a little nervous about the birds. So let me uh, think about this for just a second and um, figure out where I'm going to place them, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've been debating whether or not to skip the birds, but I'm going to do it because people like it, and it'll be cute. It'll represent like a mama bird and a baby bird. It'll represent the uh, mama bird and baby bird, and I think I can, can do the baby bird okay. So um, my video camera just stopped, so I'm going to keep an eye on it to make sure it keeps going. But... Okay, so I'm going to kind of make a teardrop, an upside down teardrop. Let me bring you closer. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see. So I'm gonna color that in. Okay. And then I'm going to make a head on top of that. My very first painting I ever did was love, two little lovebirds sitting on a branch. All right, and then for their tails, I'm going to go out like that. And thicken it up a little bit. I'm gonna thicken up his body. Okay, he's looking cute. Or she, it's mother daughter. Okay, now I want to. Straighten its head out. I'm going to give it a little beak. And we'll say he's looking up at Mama. Mama's coming. Okay. He's got a big head. She. Okay. It's my cute little birdie. I hope it's cute. Okay, and then... Here comes the flying bird. <laughs> I've never ever done a flying bird, but we're gonna do it today and it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting. So here's the body and then I'm gonna oval it out. Kind of just thicken up this top part and thicken up the bottom part. That's where his chest is. I'm gonna get a bigger brush to help me. I grabbed this brush here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my small one um, to trace out the wings. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna, this is like the tip of the bird right here, coming at the baby. <laughs> I really hope I'm not gonna butcher this, but you know, this is a part of me learning as well. Okay, and then I'm going to put his wing like that. 
Oh Lord, help me. I'm not confident about this yet. That's okay, if I ruin this painting, I'm still gonna post it so you can see that I'm human <laughs> and that I am indeed a beginner painter. Okay, and then I'm going to, he's soaring this way. I'm so scared guys. This is like a disaster. Well, maybe it doesn't look so bad on camera. Maybe I need to step back. But I'm just gonna make it look like there's feathers. The good news is, <laughs> um, they can probably pull me up a stencil. And you guys could print off a flying bird and trace it. Do what you need to do. Okay, so for the back part, it goes in and out like that. Is this a fish? <laughs> I, don't I don't know guys. I'm so sorry if I failed you. I think his head needs to be a little bigger. And there's his beak. Okay. Um, it's definitely interesting. But it's things like this that's going to make me a better painter. I feel like, though, the more I mess with it, I think it's looking a little bit better. Something's weird about it. But what do you guys think? Does that look like a flying bird? <laughs> anyway, there's this machine at work that I think I can trace this a stencil of a bird out. So that should help. All right, I'm I'm fine. It's whatever. Um, I well, I do want to add a little white, I guess, to give it a little bit of shading. <laughs> Let's see. We'll put a little white on the chest of this one. Oh. Okay, and maybe on its tail, maybe that'll help. Okay, got a little dimension there. Let's go to the birdie. I wasn't going to put any of this on here, thinking it would make it worse, but I don't think it's making it worse. I think it's kind of giving it some, sh um, well, dimension to show you, <clears throat> you know, where the bird is actually at, you know, it's feathers. 
Yeah, I don't hate that. I kind of like it better with the little white lines. Okay, so I'm good. I'm good with this. This is doable, and we'll see if we can even make this better. But for the first time, I'm not going to be that hard on myself. Um, like I say, I'm not a professional. I am as well a beginner painter, teaching myself how to paint. So, what's next? Oh, the little flowers. Okay, let me get the color I want for the flowers, and I'll be right back. So the blue I decided to go with is this blue. Um, it is something I got at the at um, the hardware store for a project in my kids' room. Um, Anchors Away, I think is the name. But you can get whatever's closest to this at your craft store. Or I could, yeah, because this is the one I want to use. This is the one I'm going to go with. But I'm going to add some white into to lighten it up. So to start, though, I'm going to go with my dark blue spots. And I'm just going to use this to tap. A lot of times I'll use my finger, but I want it a little smaller than that. So he, um, right around here, I'm going to put a few blue dots. And then I'm going to do some right around here. Okay, and then that's simple. It's just that simple. I'll come, I'll bring it closer again. Okay, hopefully that'll help. Let's see. Okay, right here, right here. That can go over. That way it connects like a BFF painting, you know, like a necklace where you, one person um, has one and the other one has another and you put it together. So when you decorate, you can do that. You can either take one home each and have a piece of each other or switch them, take theirs home, um, or one person like your mom, keep it, or you, whatever you want to do, or if you're the mom, whatever you want to do, um, and keep it together. Or you can do, like I said, like you each have a piece and it all connects. And that's sweet. You know, you have something in your home. So, you have something to remember your mom by. Fun time with your mom. Memories. Because trust me, when they get older, they want all the memories they can get. I mean, I'm not, I'm only 35 and my kids are young and I still want all the memories I can get. But my mom loves spending time with me. More than anything I could give her, <clears throat> she would want me to spend time with her. Okay. Just trying to get the color on there for now <clears throat> because I'm going to go back over with some white to lighten it all up. Okay. <clears throat> Hope you're liking it so far. It is a darker blue, but um, the white will bring it to life. So I just want to get all the dark blue on I can. This part so far isn't very hard. It's gonna be the next step <clears throat> that's a little bit trickier. And I'm trying to finish this up because I need to run to the school to drop off my um, application to be a chaperone and it's my oldest son's lunchtime, and I haven't 
I haven't had lunch with them at all this year, and I usually go at least once or twice a year. So I think I'm going to surprise him because I should be there right about the same time he has lunch and have lunch with my boy today. It's one of the absolute benefits of working from home. And I get to do things I love, like this right here. It's so much fun to create, even though I'm not a professional, uh, but I am to somebody. I am a little more to somebody out there. And I've been actually, even as mediocre as I think I am, I've created a business, <laughs> you know? I um, I've done something. And I've had a great support system. My friends have been incredible. They've helped me create what I am today. Now that's great support. I couldn't be more blessed with the friends I have. Okay, so that is step one. And now I'm gonna get to my white. Actually, before I do that, I'm not going to want to mix any white into this, so I'm going to take some of my blue out. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. And then I'm going to use my white. Mix it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over. There we go, it's looking cute, guys. You wanna be able to see the blue, the darker blue underneath. And then I'm probably gonna go <clears throat> back over one more time with the darker blue. Like the video if you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe and share. And then if you actually do your own painting, I would absolutely love to see it. Um, this is what I'm doing this for. I'll um, put in the description everything you're going to need or what you can use. But you can have some liberty on the colors here. You can always have liberty over your own painting anyway. You know, I take a picture that I think I'm capable of doing. I dissect it apart, um, step by step in my head, and think, okay, I can I could probably do this. Even if it's hard, I want to push myself to see how far I can go. So this wasn't necessarily easy, but I did it. And I think it's absolutely adorable. If you um, have any questions on your painting, let me know. And um, maybe I can help you adjust colors or anything you need help with. Okay, let me put some more blue back in.
So just layering. Layering is the key. Okay, it's done. I'm going to show you guys up close. So, tell me what you think. Okay, here's one half. Here's the other half. And there you go. A sweet little painting. Okay, guys. Ugh. Oh. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you had a wonderful time. I had a great time painting as well. So join me next time. Bye.